What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the goddamn internet and we have naysayers a market research company I don't know what the fuck these guys are but apparently they have Nintendo listed as not being a major hardware developer for the future and I don't know what the fuck these guys mean I mean literally it's that easy to understand that Nintendo is going to be a permanent fixture in the gaming community but these guys don't fucking get it dude I mean come the fuck on what the fuck I'm just playing around. Man. Shout outs to my nigga, <laughs> Sir Puffy Fox, my nigga Michael, who created this crazy ass intro for me, man. I mean, the timing was so perfect on this shit, dog. <laughs> As if the leafy memes couldn't even get more intense. And now we got the fucking 80s intro to go with it. Very, very aesthetic. I'll give you that, Michael. <laughs> Good shit, bro. But guys, I also want to get... <laughs> I want to get props to the... <laughs> Who <laughs> made this fucking thumbnail here? Like, look at this shit, bro. Nigga, <laughs> wait, hold on. Zoom in on that. Zoom in on this shit, man. Big props to my man, Julian Mario, for creating this insane looking picture of Tatsumi Kimishima with the tattoos, man. He actually did a bunch of thumbnails for me with this video. And this one, I, I couldn't not use this one, man. It's too perfect, dog. So shout outs to Julian Mario. Um, you guys can check him out in the description. I'll leave links to his YouTube, his Twitter. He does shit like this all day, every day. It's fucking hilarious. So apparently, there's some big shit brewing with uh, with a respectable market research company. But let, let's, just, let's just take a look at the article right here on MyNintendoNews.com. So here, let's open it up real quick. Nintendo's future in gaming disregarded by market research group. So as soon as I first saw this, I'm going to admit, man, I, I, I'm a fanboy at heart, although I can look at things from a more analytical standpoint, and I can be rational in my thinking, but deep down, nigga, I'm a Nintendo fanboy. So this kind of pissed me off a little bit, but you might be surprised at what my overall reaction is by the end of this. Now, this isn't a first time thing. I already looked at the article because I was so curious to see where they based this off of. It is no secret that Nintendo is not ruling the gaming industry anymore, obviously. Um, however, one market research group seems to believe Nintendo's role in the industry is pretty much over. And this is nothing new, guys. I mean, we've been seeing people who advocate for the end of Nintendo creating hardware for quite a while now. I mean, there's a lot of people that think they're just basically going to pull out of the industry. They've made too many blunders, too many mistakes that they are not going to learn from, even with the NX on the horizon. Although we don't really know anything about it, but there could potentially be people that don't give a fuck about that and say, hey, Nintendo screwed either way. Let's take a look at more of what the article says here. Um, Tech Navio, so I'm guessing that's the name of the group, that has recently released their forecast of the games industry for the next four years. Now, I don't know who the fuck these Tech Navio people are. I mean, they could be extremely prestigious, and I'm just completely oblivious to where their position is in the community. One thing I gotta clarify with you guys, I am not a news channel, I am not a researcher, I'm not somebody who knows all the technicalities of the gaming industry, I'm just a fucking fanboy that goes crazy over Nintendo games and talks about his erection over them in videos on YouTube. So I mean, hey, anyways, let's take a look at more of what this article is saying here. While they predicted the market would grow exponentially, it seems like Nintendo was not on their radar. Their list of key market players featuring Sony, Microsoft, Activision Blizzard, and EA notably snubbed Nintendo. While Nintendo did appear alongside Sega and under prominent, uh, excuse me, and under other prominent vendors, it seems harsh to exclude the Japanese console maker. What do you think of Tech Navio's decision? Tell us below. So we're going to open up the source of this too, because it also you can actually see the list that they had right here, covered in this report. Blah blah blah. Market is divided into following segments based on geography. Key vendors, as you can see here, are um, Activision Blizzard, EA. Microsoft, Sony, and Tencent. I'm not too sure who these guys are, but like I said, I'm just going off of this free balling and I want to give you guys my thoughts. The focus of this is not necessarily my smarts with knowing um, who some of these more obscure players in the game are. My concern right now is where they're coming up with this information for saying that Nintendo is going to be completely out of the hardware market within a matter of a few years. Anyways, um, other prominent vendors, as you can see, Apple is over here too. Um, I don't know. I, Maybe they're, they're regarding the global gaming market, as you can see right here, 2016 to 2020. So, I mean, Apple being over here in other prominent vendors, understandable. DNA as well, too. But Nintendo being there is quite a big call. And right above Sega, man. I mean, goddamn, I thought they... 
<laughs> Nintendo don't. Does that apply to anybody over here, man? But let's take a look at this now. So, I mean, obviously, these guys, I, I don't want to go through the entirety of this um, article where they publish it themselves saying, you know, the reasons and whatnot. I'll leave this in the description with you dudes, too. But we can basically boil it down to this. Nintendo made a lot of mistakes. The Wii. It was a console that didn't see too much of third-party support. It lacked a lot of the modern conveniences that people were getting used to with gaming, like a strong online system. When the Wii was out, you also had the PSN on Sony's side, and you had Xbox Live on Microsoft's side. Those were two major facets which were welcoming of the new age of gaming, and Nintendo was nowhere to be found in that field. I mean, they're getting their game together a little bit now with this whole My Nintendo thing, but it could be considered too little too late. And then we also have the Wii just not having enough power, so third-party developers weren't really publishing too much content on there. I mean, that, 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 I think those are kind of two separate things for the Wii's part. And, and then we have the Wii U as well, too, man. And the Wii U is just a sad story altogether because the marketing was horrible on that thing. And then because of the marketing being horrible, it's so bad, which means that third-party developers did not see any incentive in putting their games on on that console and that is basically what the Wii's the Wii U excuse me you see even now it's 2016 and I'm still making that mistake <laughs> but I mean you, you see where I'm coming from these consoles are more of lessons for Nintendo but to say that they're going to be completely out of the hardware market, I don't know if you can make that judgment. It's just Nintendo did not really convince people or the third party developers that their consoles were worth it. The Wii sold a lot, but it basically was a dust collector for the majority of people's homes that had it. The motion control thing, more of a gimmick. Even though I am bringing up the NX, I don't want to judge Nintendo's future progress in 2020 based on a console which we still have no confirmed information about right now. But if the rumors are true, then this could be something that takes a completely different direction for Nintendo, somewhere that they're more comfortable. They're portable consoles, and it's also going to have that big time first party support, which has been the main thing keeping Nintendo alive all these years. And then we also need to talk about the change in management. You'll be surprised. Maybe that change in leadership could determine Nintendo learning from their mistakes a lot faster than before. You have a totally new perspective on things. And while, you know, he doesn't necessarily make all the big time executive decisions for Nintendo as a whole with no other input from the rest of the company, it still will make a difference that you have different people behind the scenes. And just like the thumbnail, I feel like Kimishima is going to take a way more hands-on radical approach to changing the direction for Nintendo for the future. I just feel like the guy would know more of the mistakes that they made in the past and to be able to learn from it. Another point that needs to be brought up is the amount of money Nintendo has in the bank. I mean, take a look at this right here. Nintendo is worth $18.4 billion. I think that's more than fucking Sony now. These dudes have cake for days, dog. If you want to be more specific, years, centuries. These dudes apparently can take a loss for how many years and still, what the hell? Calm down, nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, nigga? Oh, he's shaking. Oh, he's he's breathing so hard. Oh, it's okay, baby. It's okay. <laughs> oh, little nigga. Come here, baby. I'm so sorry. Come here. It's okay, baby. Damn, he's so scared. <laughs> Let go, baby. Let go. It's okay, baby. It's okay. <laughs> this little nigga had a traumatic experience. That plastic bag fucked him up. It's okay, baby. Yeah, <laughs> no plastic bags are gonna hurt you in this crib. It's okay. Okay. Relax, it's alright. My, my, my fucking cat is traumatized right now. <laughs>